everyone, and welcome back to this week's CVU show. I'm Chloe. And I'm Poppy. This week, we have a packed schedule full of fun topics. We have updates on sports and COVID-19 and an interview regarding last weekend's prom. Also, a segment on building a PC, and you can look forward to our weekly creamy review. Our first topic we have today is a sports update from Chandler Turner on this week's sports here at CVU. Take it away, Chandler. Hi, I'm Chandler with the CVU Sport News. The boys' tennis team moved to 8-4 on the season while visiting South Burlington on Monday and defeating them. They visit Mount Mansfield for their last regular season match Tuesday, May 25th at 3.30 p.m. The Red Hawk girls tennis team moved to 6-4 this season but were defeated by South Burlington on Monday, 3-4. CV girls tennis hosts MMU for their last senior day and last regular season game on Tuesday, May 25th at Davis Park at 4.30 p.m. The CV girls varsity lacrosse team is on a roll, hosting and defeating Burlington 17-5 on Monday on their senior day. They visit South Burlington on Thursday for a big rematch under the lights at Munson Field at 7 p.m. The boys lacrosse team has had an impressive 12-0 undefeated record this far in the 2021 regular season. They defeated South Burlington last Friday, 18-11. They host Woodstock on Tuesday at CVU at 4.30 p.m. The Varsity Girls Ultimate Frisbee team is 3-6 this far in the 2021 regular season as of May 18th. They look to host St. Johnsbury at CVU at 4.30 p.m. on Tuesday. The Boys Varsity Ultimate team has an impressive 2021 season with an 8-2 record. They defeated Colchester last Saturday, 15-6, and this Tuesday, look to visit South Burlington at 7 p.m. for an under the lights game. The varsity boys baseball team has had themselves a season this far, going 12 and three this far. They were defeated by Rice on Saturday, May 22nd, 0 to 1, booked to host St. Johnsbury on Tuesday at 4.30 p.m. And finally, the varsity softball team went two and 13 this season and defeated the MMU Cougars last Thursday, 15 to three. Their game versus St. Johnsbury on Tuesday, May 25th, has been canceled awaiting information about rescheduling. They do look forward to visiting Burlington on Thursday for a rematch, 4.30 p.m. at Letty Park. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Chandler. Everyone make sure to cheer on CVU this week. Next, we have a COVID update from Ella Emmons. We have some new rules and regulations here in Vermont that are very important and will help us end this pandemic. Governor Phil Scott announced that if Vermont can vaccinate 80% of all eligible Vermonters, restrictions can be lifted before July 4th, the original date planned, to an earlier time. Current Vermont COVID-19 restrictions still include things like wearing masks in, in indoor spaces and adhering to quarantine requirements for international travel if you are unvaccinated. However, on a positive note, gatherings with any number of vaccinated people are permitted. Essentially, with more vaccinated people, there is more leeway and flexibility for gatherings, mask regulations, and quarantine requirements. Remember, recent news stated ages 12 and older are eligible for the vaccine. Thank you, Ella. As we all know, prom was this past weekend. Here we have Chloe, who is interviewing the senior class advisor, Spags, who helped to create prom. Hello, how are you, Chloe? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great. Good, so I heard you were the person who hosted prom. I was, I was. I was the name behind it. A lot of people worked on it, um, but yeah, I was kind of the overseer of all the organization of it. Nice. Yeah. So how do you think it went? Do you think it was successful? People had fun? Yeah, I think it was a, I think it was a huge hit. Um, from just talking to some kids that were there, they look at them having a great time. Was, I think, one, I think it was perfect timing for an event like this. I think a lot of kids were just starving for some fun. Mm -hmm. um, and it came at just the right time for that. Uh, and all the organization pieces that I was worried about, um, especially weather, uh, definitely worked out for us. And the food was great. Music was great. Ken did a great job on lighting. I, I mean, just everything came together so well. And, uh, you know, for a prom hosted at CVU, it didn't feel like you were at school, which was kind of our main goal. That's really good. Yeah. What type of food was there that night? There was three different trucks. Um, so we had Baba's Tacos serving uh, quesadillas and tacos and burritos. We had the Wheelhouse, which is like an event service and they do like a Southern barbecue. Uh, and then we had the Scoop Truck, 
which was just dishing out ice cream all night. Um, and part of the ticket price was a free meal. So everybody got one if they wanted one. That sounds like a really good deal. Great deal. I know my brother had a really good time at prom. Oh, well, that's good to hear. Yeah. You know, he was one of the, the people of that crew that got a lot of stuff that didn't happen for them in the last year or so. Yeah. I was hoping that things went well for that class. It's unfortunate that the seniors didn't get anything last year. Right. I'm glad they had a good prom this year. Yeah, I'm hoping that this was worth two for them. <laughs> for sure. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for interviewing, Chloe. Sounds like prom is a blast. You are very welcome, and it sounds like it was lots of fun. Our next topic is an educational video. We have Aiden teaching us how to build a PC computer and what parts work well for a beginner on a budget. Hi guys, uh, I'm Aiden and welcome to Aiden Tech Tips. And in today we're going to be talking about some good parts for building a PC. So I decided to pick a budget of $1,000 today and I picked some parts to show you guys what a good PC would be if you uh, spend $1,000 on it. So a really good resource for picking parts for your computer is PC Part Picker. Um, it's a free website where you're allowed to pick whatever parts you want. So I decided I would pick uh, the GTX 1050, which is around $330. Um, a Ryzen 5, uh, yeah, a Ryzen 5, we'll go for that. A Ryzen 5. And then a B4 or a B450M, which is a, which is a decent motherboard. It's around eighty dollars. Um, DDR4 RAM for around forty. It's a cheaper version of it, but DDR4 is pretty good when it comes to RAM. Um, a two terabyte storage, which the one that I picked is around fifty-five dollars. A power supply that I picked is around ninety dollars. An external drive is around forty-five which is, uh, could, be your, could be your C drive if you wanted it to be. But overall, you would have to be paying around uh, $962, which is actually under the budget of 1000 But yeah, overall, it would make a pretty good PC. Back to the studio. That was a very educational and super helpful video for new gamers. Our last segment this week is our weekly creamy review from Greta. And welcome to this episode's Creamy Review. This past weekend, I went to Maine and went to Izzy's Ice Cream, and I got a chocolate soft serve with purple sprinkles. It was very delicious. Here are some of the menu items. Looks delicious, Greta. Thank you all so much for watching this week's episode of the CBU Show. See you next week. Bye.